Mm. All right, William, you take a deep breath whenever the spirit moves you. Uh, what is up, everybody? Hello. Hey, what's up? Good morning. <laughs> My name is William Perez, and let me just say that I hate first impressions. For me, I always kind of come off too thuggish or too rude to a lot of people. So that's pretty much why I hate first impressions. But that's really all because I'm basically just a product of my environment, you know? So today, what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is my family, some life experiences, and career aspirations. Hey. So first, let me start off with my family. So first, let me tell you about my family and why. Right, first, let me tell you about my family. So that? So that you guys can know me more. Just the guys? Oh. Uh, so everybody can know me more. Thanks, William. <laughs> All right, ground that body, William. You stand right there. Yeah. And tell us this main point about that family. All right, so I'm the youngest of two older brothers. Uh, I have my mom and dad, so it's a family of five. Uh, being the youngest, I'm always seen as the baby, and I was always picked on a lot. So that kind of made me kind of get this ruggish exterior that I often portray. Uh, that being said, my family was nothing but love. Uh, brothers were always there for me. My mom and dad were always there for me, even though they were always working. They always made sure to make time for me and my brothers. Uh, let's see. So my mom works at a women's shelter, and my dad works in construction, specifically uh, tiling and countertops. Mm -hmm. And with those type of careers that they're in, it kind of always just instilled in me the need to work hard and to help as many people as I can. Now, let me move on to some life experiences. Uh, and why would you tell us about those? So you guys can know why I often come off as maybe rude or sometimes a bit thuggish. Okay, help <laughs> us get to know you. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and um, what I'm going to have you do, why don't you, I don't want you to go behind the podium, but do you, you lean? You want to put one arm on that? No. I mean, like, uh, I'm so sorry. If you want to even, I don't know if it feels comfortable for you to stay in here, but even one in this way. Would that make you happy? I don't know if that was a sort of distance. Yeah, that you could stand still. You also don't know, I think that this thing is just an old What? No. No machine. No. You can stay still. I don't know. Let's go ahead and, you know, give me one hot second. I'm going to find this way. But what I want you to also do is, while you're just for a second here, run through and think about the word kind of. And we'll talk about that in one second. Don't make it. Don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Pull your body. Okay. 
There you go. Ah, look at that. And then you put it there. How's that one? Is that a little better? <coughs> look at that. All right. Feel free to throw that hand around if you feel the <laughs> And then when we're talking about things, remember, when we talk about things that are very either like important or emotional or um, when we're giving ourselves credit, we will oftentimes try to negate that by using the word kind of. It kind of influenced me. I'm going to guess all of these things you're talking about influenced you. It kind of made me who I am. No, no. That's exactly what you're talking about. It did, right? So when we use those words kind of, try to drop that so that we can, we can concretely communicate that idea or that belief. That makes sense to So go ahead. Take a hot second. That was a long video, but here we go, and then, yeah, and then whenever the spirit moves you, let's go into that second one, and we'll talk about your life experiences. Moving on to my life experiences, they're pretty much, they are what made yes. me into who I am and why it is that, you know, sometimes I come off as rude or thuggish, but let's just move on to that. So where I grew up, there's always uh, something going on in terms of illegal activities, so every day and night, I hear, you know, car sirens, or not car sirens, uh, police sirens uh, passing through my apartment building, uh, the firefighters, you know, coming through my apartment building. Uh, there's always something going on. So, you know, since I was little, I kind of had this uh, idea of, like, it's called machismo, where I always got to be tough, where I always got to be brave, you know, because uh, if I'm too soft or anything by where I live, then I'm just going to get picked on endlessly. And... Moving on towards that way, it's also why I kind of come off as rude because if you're soft spoken, no one's gonna pay attention to you, no one's gonna, you know, do anything for you. So that's why, you know, I kind of mm. come off as that's why I come off as rude because, you know, because if you don't, if you aren't outspoken or don't come off as rude or kind of demanding something, then no one's ever gonna help you out. That being said, with all that illegal activity going on, I saw a lot of family struggle. And since I am the baby, I was always try my family always tried to you know, shield me from everything that was in front of me, uh, which is why they sent me to schools in Brentwood and up in the Palisades, sort of to just get me out of that environment and to know that that doesn't have to be my life. Uh, moving on to with my mom, who works at a women's shelter, uh, it's not just that, yeah, they provide uh, shelter and uh, ch child care services for women and their children, but they also play a big role in the, communi the neighboring community. Mm -hmm. They put on tons of events for the whole community, uh, specifically in Christmas where they provide a lot of presents. And that growing up and seeing all that that they've done, and my mom kind of instilled that aspiration in me to help people and pursue that in a career. So let me move on to my career aspirations so you guys can know what it is that I want to do with my life. So what exactly do I want to do with my life? Being in college, everyone's always asking me, oh, what are you going to major in? And if I'm being honest, I have no idea. That question always pops up, and it's the same response. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But what I do know is that I want to help people out. For me, I was lucky enough to have a mentor all throughout my life. He stuck with me through elementary school all the way to high uh, school. And that played a big role in my life because it was this USC graduate who went on to be a lawyer and ended up creating his own business. And I mean, he has, I mean, I'm sure, you know, with all that he was doing, like, you know, money is time, and there he is, like, spending it with me. And that being said, it kind of led to me uh, being a part of this program with John Adams Middle School, where I'm actually mentoring some middle school kids. And I kind of just want to give back that experience that I experienced and hopefully influence these kids like my mentor influenced me. Mm -hmm. And in terms of helping people out, I'm currently a cadet for the Los Angeles Fire Department. So that that's something that I definitely want to pursue because it'll give me that opportunity to be there through every step of the way in my community's like advancement. Because, I mean, there's a lot of jobs out there that do help people, but they're not there through every step of the way, you know? They're like, okay, here's everything you need. 
go figure it out yourself. But, you know, being a firefighter, you kind of just there for that. He's there putting out events, you know, being with the major community, helping everyone as much as you can. So, in conclusion, even though I might come out as thuggish or rude, at the end of the day, I just want to help people out. That is my main goal. I don't care what type of job it is that I'm going to end up doing. I just want it to be that I just can help people. Thank you. How did that feel? Any, any different?